Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will cover how to manage return requests on your NavCommerce site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.70. The return request feature in NavCommerce enables your customers to request a return on items previously purchased. These requests are also known as RMA requests. Let's go to the administration section to learn more about managing the return requests. To configure return requests, go to configuration menu, settings, auto settings. On the auto settings page, select the return request setting tab. To enable the return request system, simply check this option. This option is only available for completed orders. When this option is enabled, a return item button is displayed on the order detail page in the public store for completed orders only. Here you can specify the number of days that the return request is available to the customer. Let's save the settings first. Return request reason. These are the list of reasons a customer will be able to choose when submitting a return request, like receive wrong item, wrong product order, there was a problem with the item. Let's add another option here. As fourth option, damaged item. Save. And here we have the fourth option here. Return request actions. Here are the list of actions a customer will be able to choose when submitting a return request, like repair, replacement, or store credit. Let's keep it as it is for this example. Now let's go to the store and see how a customer can submit a return request. Go to My Account, select Orders, and here we can see the order detail which is a complete order status. Click on the Detail page. And here we have the option return item. When we click this button, it will take us to the return request page. Here is the product that we would like to return. Let's select the quantity one. Return reasons. Here customer will select the reason for returning. Receive wrong product, wrong product ordered, there was a problem with the product or damaged item, the new item that we recently added from the admin section. Let's select the damaged item option. Return actions. Here, a customer can either select repair, replacement, or store credit. Let's go for replacement for this example. Comments. And let's submit a return request. Your return request has been successfully submitted. Now, as a store admin, you can see the return request by going to sales, return request option. And here we can see the list of all return requests. Click edit beside the return request. Now click on the order link to view the associated order detail page. And here we can see the product. From the customer link, click on the email address to view the detail of the customer. And here we can see the options that were selected by the customer. Here we can edit the return reason, the action, or even the customer comments as needed. The return request ID, product, and date fields are read-only and cannot be edited. From the status option, you can select any status as required. So once you receive the item from the customer, you can simply select received, save and continue, and press this button to notify the customer about the status change. And now when the customer will try to go in the account page and click on the return requests page, the customer will be able to see the updated status in the account. And this is how we manage return requests in NopCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NopCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.